Hello everyone, this is the Sleeping Wendigo, and for today's video, we will be going over another SCP. For today's video, we will be going over SCP-250, also known as Most of an Allosaurus. Object Class, Euclid. Special Containment Procedures SCP-250 is to be kept in a 50 meter by 50 meter enclosure, simulating a prairie environment with padded steel walls 15 meters high and 1 meter thick. The temperature must remain between 28, uh, 20 degrees and 28 degrees Celsius by day and between 10 and 14 degrees Celsius by night, with the average humidity then no more than 8. This serves as due purpose, ensuring that SCP-250's overall behavior remains predictable and maintaining the physical integrity of its component, uh, component parts. Vegetation within the enclosure is to be maintained on a bi-weekly basis. See document 250 MB48 for details. Although SCP-250 does not physically require nutrition, it is to be fed one live adult pig every two days in order to regulate its aggression and hunting instincts. The remnants of its meal are to be removed from its enclosure no less than one hour after the onset of its nightly uh, dormancy period. This includes cleaning any residu residual, residual biolo biological debris from 250's physical components with the compressed air and whisk brooms at no point during cleaning are any of SCP-250's physical components to be moved more than one meter in any direction as risks of disturbing its dormancy. Dormancy ends within five minutes of sunrise. Access to 250's containment during this period is prohibited. Description SCP-250 is the eminent fossil skeleton of an allosaur, originally identified as Allosaurus frugalis. However, an incomplete scientific article found in the person, uh, personal effects of paleontologist Dr. Blank indicates that this classification may have been erroneous. It contains 157 disticulated bones and 14 plaster and fiberglass replacements. Held together and animated by an unknown force, study of this force is hindered by 250's aggressive behavior, which is to be assumed by the Foundation paleontologists as being within theoretical norms for an allosaur. 250's emulates what is presumed to be the standard daily activities of a living allosaur. It wanders its enclosure by day, enters a state of dormancy by night, and will attempt to kill and devour anything which it perceives as suitable prey, including humans. Its lack of organs does not seem to affect its behavior in any way, except that the remains of any prey it consumes will inevitably fall out of the gasps gaps of its skull, neck, and rib cage, which, at which point it ignores them. 250 was first excavated at a 50% complete skeleton in redacted 19 blank. Records of the excavation do not include any reports of anomalies. It was transferred to the museum in blank, where it was assembled, mounted, and put on display. On the night of 20 some, SCP-250 seized and killed an intruder to the museum. Although damage to the intruder's remains were so extensive as it rendered forensic identification impractical, they were conversely shown to not show the to not be those of paleontologist Dr. Blank, whose office in the museum was extens extensively vandalized at that night and who had not been there since. Foundation personnel embedded within the museum staff reported the incident and SCP-250 was taken into custody. Well everyone, that was SCP-250. I hope you enjoyed this episode of uh, SCPs and if you did, don't forget to leave a like, share, and subscribe. And as always, I will see you all 
next time.